Hello. Today we'll be taking a look at a demo of the custom GPT web application. Starting out, this is the dashboard, and this is where you can see high level metrics of your entire account, such as team members, total agents, words stored, and then we get into the more monthly metrics, such as queries, documents added in that month, and words processed in that month. Taking a look at the agents tab, we can see all of our agents that we have created on our account. Clicking into one would allow you to query the agent as well as see stat history. However, starting a new agent, we can see some of our data ingestion options, such as a website, file upload, Google Drive, SharePoint, sitemaps, and any additional integration options we offer are available on this screen. Going back into a specific agent, you can access other settings for the agent in the top right of its title card outside of the Ask Me Anything button. Starting out, we will look at the build option. Here you can see the other side of those data ingestion options we saw in creating a new agent. Here is where you can manage the different sources of your data. You can also go into the Documents tab and see each individual page sorted by where it came from. In the Personalized section, we can adjust some of the visual settings, such as colors, avatars, names, background colors. We have our persona section, as well as our persona generator to create a new persona for your agents. As it mentions here in this little blurb, the persona is what will guide the role and goal of the agent that you are creating and affect how the responses are generated, how information is deemed relevant for given queries, and overall just instructs tone of the agent as well. Moving along, we have questions that allow you to augment conversational style of the agent, such as error messages, custom message endings, starter questions, loading icons, etc. Have settings related to the citations feature, whether it is inline citations or citations at the end of the chat, intelligence options, whether you value speed or complexity of responses, some additional advanced settings relating to conversation sharing, exporting, white labeling, and just overall orientation. Finally, security settings, whether your agent is allowed to be deployed publicly, privately, whether it's whitelisted, um, reCAPTCHA, et cetera. Finally, we have our deploy section. Here is where you get access to our agent deployment settings, whether you choose a live chat, an embedded agent in a static square, or some of our more complex integrations, such as a Slack channel, a WordPress application into your SharePoint, an iframe, etc. We also offer API deployment for if you need to make a custom chat interface or use us as part of an overall workflow. The API is where you can do that. Um, so at a high level, this is the important settings of our custom GPT agents. And using these settings, you can really customize your feel and implementation of your agents. Once you're done with all of that, this is where you can review your queries and test it out. 